Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage. Well guys, in this video we're going to pick up where we left off with the uh, Blackhawk bandsaw intro video. We'll take that old Blackhawk bandsaw that I got from Justin in the truckload of awesomeness video. We're going to get it outside, get it cleaned up, and we're going to get that thing up to speed. We're going to go all the way through it, check the gearbox, we're going to clean all the bearings, we're going to check everything, grease it good, get a new blade on it, and do some cuts, and then we're going to hopefully going to get it mounted into the little carriage that's under the old Tammy band saw and get rid of that old saw. Good Lord. Whew. Lord, that's an aggravating saw. So anyhow, guys, let's get to work, man. We'll get this saw cleaned up and see what we got. So we got this thing all washed and cleaned up. Now what I want to do is I want to come in here and we'll take off these. Um, I still don't know the proper name of it. Maybe y'all can tell me. The, you know these guides that the blade runs through with the bearings and all that. And I want to take those out and I want to remove the bearings and clean them up good and lubricate them. You know, inspect them, make sure they're going to be okay. I mean, they turn free, but they've been sitting a while. And may have some rust in them. I don't know, but we're going to try to just clean them up and see what we can do there and just clean up these these whole slides as a unit the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to pack this full of grease and then run it and keep packing it with grease till we get it good and full and then put the cover back on Here's where we are with this thing right now. I've got the, the old blade back on it just you know, to get everything set. I'm not gonna use that blade. It's just old and rusted, not much good. Anyhow, we're gonna use it to get the uh, pulley set up, okay? It's all running right now. It's not tracking correctly on the pulleys. Now, if you'll notice, I do not have any of the blade guides on or any of that. We're not gonna mess with that right now. We wanna get it to where it tracks on those pulleys correctly. All right, then we know that's right and we'll set our guides to that then, okay? All right, so let me get you close. All right, now look, if you'll notice, see how that blade is just about to come off of that top pulley? All right, it's running, it's barely on there, okay? And what we'll do on the left over there, over here, right in here, you see I got the Allen wrench there, and I've got my 12 millimeter wrench up here. And I'm gonna loosen the adjusting bolt and screw in on the set screw to change the angle to that top pulley. All right, you can see there, that's running pretty good now. The top of the blade up here, get a little pointer. You notice the top of the blade right here is hitting the back of the pulley, so that's good. And down here at the bottom, it's almost hitting the back of the pulley. To be honest with you, if I try to adjust it really anymore, it's probably going to make it worse. But I think that's perfect, man. I, I think that's going to work good right there. That's a pretty good setting. All right, so next up, we're going to get the guides cleaned up, inspected all the bearings, and grease them, and start getting them set on the machine. So here's you know, one of the uh, guides for the saw blade. In fact, this is the one that's closest to the motor end or the bottom when you raise it up. And it's got, you know, these uh, these special bearings in it, all right? And if you'll see, the holes are a different size. And that's because one of these has an eccentric made onto it so that you can adjust it against the blade. And the other one is stationary. It does not move. So that's a positive compared to the old central machinery both of them were eccentrics on it and it was hard to get the blade like right where you wanted it because one was you know you understand when you got two eccentrics you could have one too tight one too loose but so in this case you just put this one in and tighten your nut up and then on this one you adjust the eccentric up till it touches the blade but this hole right here you can put grease down in there you can knock in a grease fit or whatever but because you have to you know on the eccentric side you have to be able to stick a screwdriver in and adjust it so you don't want to put a grease fit in. But I will take my, my little pointed 
grease uh, grease gun insert, stick it in there and, and pack these things full of grease, okay? And I'm just gonna take this old saw blade here and stick it in there. And the idea here is I wanna I want to tighten the eccentric up to where it's touching it, but you can still spin the bearing, okay? With some with a little bit of resistance. That's that's really where I want it, right there. See any tighter, and I wouldn't be able to do that. So you can see it's got some got some resistance, but I can still spin. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock this thing down right there. Alright, so now we're gonna do the other one the same way, okay? While we're here, let me go ahead and put some grease in there. That grease coming out. That's what you want right there, man, all greased up. We've got the, uh, you know, the guides back in. I've got all of the bearing rollers adjusted. And you can see there, man, it's tracking good. And I, she's running, she's on the pulleys right, top and bottom, and it's just barely touching these back stop bearings here, and I mean just very lightly touching them. In fact, they only roll like every other revolution, they'll, they'll, they'll catch and roll. And that's perfect, okay, because you want it when you set the saw down into the metal for the blade to be pushed into those bearings and support the back of it then, okay? Not necessarily when it's running idle like this. You want them just barely touching them. All right, so I'm happy with that. All right, so the next thing now, guys, is I'm going to shut the saw off and we're going to take it, square this up, you know, the backstop up to the blade, and let me adjust this a little bit. We're going to work on this handle right here. We're going to take this little pulley off that um, Mr. Holiday put on it for whatever reason. See if we can come up with something better there. And make a test cut, see how it does. All right, so let's get to work on this, getting this squared up, getting this off and doing something different there. Put this piece of metal in it and see what it does. All right, guys, moment of truth. All right, we've got the uh, got the jaw there squared up with the blade. I uh, replaced the handle. I took the handle off of the old candy band saw and put it on here for the you know, for the tightening. Got a piece of square tube in there. Let's see what she does. Cross your fingers. been a ton of work you just don't know man getting this thing running right uh, had to borrow some parts from the other saw took the motor on and off a couple of different times had um, bad electrical connections inside the motor got that fixed uh, just you know getting it work cuts halfway decent and right now man this thing's working good it's cutting good it's not cutting perfectly true you know it wants to come out just a little bit but that's all I mean I'm not gonna complain too much about that it's, it's quiet Runs good. So, see how quiet it is? That's a lot more quieter than the other saw was. Cutoff switch works. Got it adjusted perfectly. All right, so guys, we got a, a bandsaw, at least for a while. And this is definitely better than what I had. I can tell you that right now. A lot better. This, this saw is not near as finicky as the other saw was. All right, so you see here, I've done made a bunch of cuts with it, and I found that, you know, square tubing can be some of the most aggravating stuff for a bandsaw, I mean, it, bandsaw just loves something solid, man. You put a round piece of metal in it, it cuts good. You put a square piece of angle iron, whatever, it cuts good. But boy, I tell you, square tubing like this, this will really test it, because it starts out, you know, on the corner, and then it cuts these through these thin parts, and then it hits this big wide area at the bottom, and if there's anything in there that's gonna cause a saw to monkey up, it'll be on square tubing. All right, so there we go. So the next thing we gotta do, guys, is we're gonna get old Tammy over here and, and get the carriage and all, and get it modified to fit this saw and get it set in. Okay, because my saw's on wheels, all right? Gotta have it on wheels. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna take a little break, clean up, put away a bunch of tools, and then work on that. All right, you can see here, I got old Tammy pretty well stripped down. I took just about every piece and part off of it that I thought I could use for material. A lot of the bolts and things I kept, you know, metric bolts. I got a little collection of those that I keep. You know, every now and then you need a metric bolt. And 
So anyhow, I keep a little collection of those and I went ahead and robbed, you know, probably 90%, 95% of all the little bolts and nuts off of it. And I got the, you know, the, the part that goes up here to mud, I took the motor off of it, took the pulleys out of it, the worm gear, all of that come out of it. I kept every part that I could possibly use. Like I said, for nothing else, just for materials later. But she's gone and I'm gonna put this thing in the back of the truck and dance a jig. The Tammy bandsaw is no more. All right, guys, that's it. We're done with this thing. And I swear, we have been all weekend, okay? This has been all day Saturday, most of the day today on Sunday, to get this all finished, to get Tammy broke down and thrown in the back of the truck. And listen, I am so happy with this all. It is light years better than what I had already. The Tammy band saw was just awful, and she is gone now and been replaced by this new saw, and we're gonna give it a new name here, probably in a few weeks or a month, whatever, and it's gonna be a good name too, okay? Anyhow, guys, thanks for hanging out with me this weekend while we got out here, man. The Masters is playing in there. I wanna get back in there and watch the end of it. Old Jordan Spieth is coming on strong. We'll see how it ends up at the end. But dude, I just appreciate every one of you, and thank you for watching my videos. Come back for the next one.